In 2012, the Nailba Charitable Foundation awarded Give Them Wings of Hood River, Oregon, a grant of $5,485 to purchase equipment to enhance their work training program, provide transitional supervised counseling, clean and sobering housing, and work and job training for at-risk youth in the area. The Fresno Survivors of Suicide Loss in Fresno, California was awarded $7,331 to bring local high school and college students together to form a Youth Council on Suicide Prevention. In addition to educating the students about suicide prevention, the program is designed to assist the Youth Council in the development of goals and activities to further the mission of this organization that saves hundreds of lives each year. The Children's Advocacy Center Coastal Bend in Corpus Christi, Texas received a grant of $8,380 to support the Kids in Court program. This program is designed to educate parents and their children about court process and courtroom dynamics, families with cases that will be going through the judicial process, and where courtroom testimony is probable are the target audience for this program. Our mother's home of Southwest Florida in Fort Myers, Florida was awarded a $10,000 grant. Funds went to their Mentors Living Program, establishing solid foundations for adolescent mothers in foster care and their children, with the goal of helping teen mothers finish high school, participate in parenting classes, independent living programs, enrichment groups, and mental health counseling. The Best Foot Forward Foundation of Boca Raton, Florida was awarded a grant of $10,000 for a measurement-based program that improves academic outcomes for foster youth in middle and high school through tutoring, mentoring, and need-based academic activities. The Best Foot Forward Foundation's intervention and guidance has helped 100% of its high school seniors graduate and enroll in post-secondary education. Fentress County Children's Center in Jamestown, Tennessee was awarded a $13,750 grant to support an after-school service for abused, traumatized, and at-risk children. Information, education, and support are provided in a safe environment to facilitate success through educational groups, small group counseling, and recreation. Christie's Place in San Diego, California was also awarded a $13,750 grant. Funds will cover program expenses for child care services, monthly and seasonal children's activities, and basic needs and other assistance for families affected by HIV AIDS. Downtown Ministries of Athens, Georgia was awarded a $13,899 grant to fund equipment purchases and upkeep for the Downtown Falcons football teams. Through this sports program, not only do players learn valuable life lessons of sportsmanship, teamwork, and respect for authority and discipline, but after becoming involved in sports, many of these at-risk children attend tutoring classes and get involved in other community organizations. The Quest for Grace Foundation in Rexford, New York was awarded a grant for $15,000 to supplement the organization's program to provide shoes and other clothing items to benefit children entering foster care. The New Orleans Women's Shelter of New Orleans, Louisiana was awarded a $15,000 grant to provide shelter and services for local children under the age of nine and their mothers. Grant funds will help to provide social services assistance, mental health counseling, housing assistance, GED preparation, and job training for this vulnerable population. The shelter provides the structure and support needed to change the trajectory of the lives of these young families, ultimately enabling them to live independently. The court appointed Special Advocates for Children of Passaic County in Wayne, New Jersey was awarded a $20,000 grant. Thanks to our support, specially trained volunteers will serve the educational needs of abused and neglected children in the foster care system, providing guidance and resources for educational stability. The Alexander Lee Center for Autism in Crystal Lake, Illinois was awarded $21,800. This grant will support their project to provide computers and other technology for use in ALCA's classrooms as learning tools for life skills and future employment opportunities for autistic children.